Sergeant, should we begin recording? PC recording underway. Cloud recording is up. Backup is rolling. Thank you, Sergeant Leonardo, you may begin. Good morning, and welcome to the remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Immigration. At this time, we ask that all council members and staff turn on their video for verification purposes. To minimize disruption, please turn all cell phones and electronic devices to silent or vibrant. Thank you, Mr. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you. <clears throat> and buenos dias, everyone. Uh, I'm Carlos Menchaca, Chair of the Immigration Committee and uh, woke up with some severe allergies. I hope you are all well and taking care of yourselves, your family and your neighbors. Um, I wanna call this hearing to order. Um, I want to acknowledge that we have been also joined by Councilmember Ku, Councilmember Drum, Councilmember Chin, Councilmember Felice, welcome, um, and Councilmember Moya. Uh, we're really excited today to be here. Uh, the Committee on Immigration will be holding a second hearing and a vote on resolution number 1229, sponsored by my colleague, Councilmember Ku. The resolution calls on the United States Congress to pass and the president to sign the Adoptee Citizenship Act of 2021 in order to secure US citizenship of internationally adopted children who are now adults or aging into adulthood. The right to citizenship is powerful. It grants the privilege of voting and running for office, but it also provides permanent protection from deportation and the freedom to travel within the outside of Within, uh, within and outside of the United States. Citizenship allows individuals full access to this nation's safety net, the benefits, without fear of adverse immigration consequences. The cruel adoption loophole in this immigration law is cruel. You can be brought to the United States as a child only to find out later that you are not guaranteed the rights of citizenship. Federal law must be updated immediately so that we can ensure that this does not happen again to any other person. So I wanna thank Councilmember Ku for his leadership on this issue. It is critical that our immigration laws work for everyone, including adoptees. I wanna I want to thank the staff for the work on this, for bringing this legislation uh, to its fruition uh, and today's to today's vote. This includes Immigration Committee staff, Committee Council Harbani Ahuja, policy analyst Elizabeth Kronk and my staff as well, Chief of Staff Lorena Lucero and Legislative and Communications Director Tony Chirito. Uh, with that, <clears throat> I wanna hang, hand it over to Councilmember Ku for remarks. Oh, and we've also been joined by Councilmember Brooks Powers. Buenos dias. Councilmember Ku, it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Chair, for hearing my resolution today. Resolution 1229. This resolution calls on the federal government to close a loophole in the Child Citizenship Act of 2000, which prevents international, international, internationally adopted children from receiving U.S. citizenship despite being legally adopted by U.S. citizens. Imagine spending 99% of your time as an American, only to have your country turn its back on you because of missing paperwork. The Child Citizenship Act of 2000 was supposed to allow foreign born children of US citizens to acquire, to acquire citizenship. Unfortunately, a loophole in the act left out thousands of adoptees from countries all over the world because they were 18 years old by the time the law went into effect. Thousands of internationally adopted adoptees have spent nearly their entire lives in America without citizenship rights. And many actually have no idea they aren't really citizens. We finally have an have we finally have an administration that is sympathetic to the plight of immigrants. Now is the time to right 
this wrong and give the international adoptees the American citizenship they deserve. Thank you, Chair, for holding this hearing. I urge my uh, colleagues to support this resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Ku. Uh, I will now hand it over to staff and the clerk to do roll call. Excuse me. Good morning. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on immigration. Resolution 1229, Chairman Chaka. I vote I. Eugene. I vote I. Thank you. Uh, Chin. I vote I. Drum. I. Moya. I vote I. Brooks Powers. I vote I. Felice. I vote yes, and thank you so much for working on this uh, resolution. Well needed uh, today. I vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Resolution 1229 has been adopted by the committee and Chair Menchaca, that is a full committee. Beautiful. Uh, and a full committee it is. I want to welcome the new blood uh, to the committee. Uh, this is a, a very vibrant community, an important one uh, that really lifts the voices of so many of our New Yorkers that don't have the power to vote for us uh, to get in here, but they do have the power and voice of their story. Uh, and that's what comes to the council uh, through this committee. So thank you. Uh, uh, and with that, I think we're done and we'll see you at Stated. Thank, Thank you. you.